Welcome to Sibelius 7, the fastest, smartest, easiest way to write music. In this short video, you'll learn how to start a new score, find your way around Sibelius, learn how to input notes and other markings, work with instrumental parts, and print out your finished music. From the Quick Start window, you can watch tutorial videos or find quick links to the on-screen documentation. Create a new score based on one of the more than 60 provided manuscript paper templates. Open one of your recent documents, import music from other programs, or catch up on the latest news about Sibelius. To start a new score, choose the New Score tab in Quick Start, then choose the manuscript paper you want to use. You can browse through the different types of ensemble by clicking on these headings, or you can search for a specific template by typing into this box. Let's start a new score for piano. Once you've chosen your manuscript paper, you can then add or remove instruments and also set up the initial time signature, key signature, tempo marking, and so on. Or you can simply click Create to open the blank score right away. You can make all of those choices just as easily later on. When you start a new score or open an existing one, you'll see something like this. At the top of the window is the ribbon, a wide band of command buttons housing all of the features of the program, organised according to task. The main part of the window shows your score. At the bottom of the window is the status bar, which provides quick access to the zoom level and the type of view you are using, plus useful information about your score and the music you are working on at the moment. To move the view of the score around, you can simply click on a blank part of the paper and drag with the mouse or you can use the scroll bars, or even use Home, End, Page Up and Page Down on your keyboard. To zoom in or out, use the slider on the status bar, or simply hold Control, Command on Mac, and scroll your mouse wheel. The tabs on the ribbon are organised according to the order in which you work on your score. The File tab is special. Clicking it hides the document and shows a useful view called Backstage, which gathers together all of the operations you might want to do to your score. From the File tab, you can import and export files in different formats, print, access special learning and teaching features, and get detailed help. The other tabs contain the options for working with your score. On the Home tab, you can add or remove instruments and bars, plus access the most important editing operations, including clipboard operations, and Sibelius's powerful filters. To add a clarinet instrument to the score, click Add or Remove in the Instruments group, or type the single key shortcut I. You can choose from more than 650 different kinds of instruments, for which Sibelius knows the correct clef, transposition, and range. Type Clarinet into the box to quickly see which clarinet Sibelius knows about. Use the down arrow key to choose Clarinet in B-flat from the list, then click Add to Score. Sibelius automatically puts the new clarinet staff in the right position in the staves in score list. Click OK to confirm your choice. The Note Input tab on the ribbon contains commands relating to alphabetic, step time and flexi time input, plus other note editing commands. First, tell Sibelius where you want to start note input by selecting a note, rest or whole bar in the staff you want to input into. Then click Input Notes on the ribbon or type the keyboard shortcut N. A blue carrot appears, telling you that Sibelius is ready to input notes. This window is the keypad. You can use it to change the characteristics of any selected note, chord or rest, just by clicking with the mouse. It mirrors the arrangement of keys on your computer's numeric keypad, so you can input music quickly by typing. The keypad has six different layouts, which provide different options for inputting and editing notes, adding articulations and other markings, and unusual accidentals. Simply click the tabs at the top of the keypad to change layout. To start inputting notes, choose a note value from the keypad, then click anywhere on the staff to place the note. Or input a note by typing its letter name on your computer keyboard. For example, typing A creates the equivalent note. To add a rest, again, Choose the length of the rest from the keypad, for example, quarter note, and click the rest button or type the zero key on the numeric keypad. To add other markings, click the notations tab. All of the basic markings aside from notes, including clefs, key and time signatures, 
lines, symbols and so on, are found here. To add a key signature, click the Key Signature button and choose from the list provided. You can see the same list by typing K on your keyboard. Other useful single key shortcuts include T for time signature, Q for clef, Z for symbol and L for lines. Another single key shortcut creates a slur. Select a note and type S, then extend the slur over further notes by hitting space. Shift space retracts the slur. Space and shift space work for all types of lines. You can find all the lines in the gallery on the Notations tab of the ribbon. Click the little arrow or hit L to open the gallery to see them all. The Text tab of the ribbon is for creating and editing text in your score. To create a dynamic, click Expression Text in the Styles gallery or type the shortcut Ctrl E, Command E on Mac. If you don't have anything selected in the score, the mouse pointer changes colour to show that it is loaded with an object. Click where you want the text to be created, and a flashing cursor appears. Right-click to see the word menu, from which you can choose any of the common dynamic markings. Each different text style has its own word menu, each with its own set of useful defaults. To type a standard dynamic, hold Ctrl, Command on Mac, then type, say, M followed by F. It's always quicker to copy existing musical markings than to create them again and again, and Sibelius has some unique shortcuts for copying. To make a copy of something immediately after itself, select it and type R, or choose the Note Input tab and click Repeat. To quickly copy any object, select it, hold the Alt key, and click where you want the copy to go. Hold Shift to snap the copy to its default vertical position. Of course, you can also use the standard cut, copy and paste shortcuts familiar from other programs. Sibelius plays back all of the standard markings in your score using its built-in professional quality sound library, or through any compatible third-party virtual instrument. Dynamics, changes of playing technique, changes of tempo and so on are all automatically interpreted. To start playback, simply hit space or hit P to playback from the start of the current selection, or click the play button on the play tab. Click the mixer button or type M to see the mixer window. By default, the mixer is docked at the bottom of the screen, but you can undock it by clicking and dragging its title bar. Resize the mixer between any of its four heights by clicking this button to see more or fewer controls. You can quickly adjust playback volume and pan, or solo or mute individual staves, using the basic controls in the mixer. Hit M again to close the mixer. Sibelius has comprehensive layout and formatting features to give your music a professional appearance. For example, magnetic layout is always working in the background, effortlessly making the best use of space on the page and automatically aligning objects to ensure they are always perfectly positioned. Other layout options are found on the Layout tab, including options for page size, orientation and staff size. To make your music appear larger or smaller when you print it out, simply adjust the staff size. The sizes of everything else in your score are proportional to the staff size. To move staves further apart or closer together, Adjust the distance between staves and systems in the staff spacing group. If you find the staves are too close together, clicking Optimize will intelligently improve the layout of the selected passage or the whole score. Sibelius makes creating parts for individual instruments very easy. Because they are always there in the background, automatically kept in sync with edits that you make to the full score, they are called dynamic parts. To view a part, Click the plus button at the right hand side of the window, just below the ribbon, and choose the desired part from the menu. You can also quickly view a part by selecting something in the instrument whose part you want to view, and typing W. Typing W again swaps you back to the full score. The Parts tab of the ribbon has options for creating new parts, adding or removing staves from parts, deleting parts, and so on. You can even create a new part for a different instrument based on an existing part, 
very useful for scores where multiple transpositions for the same instrument are required. The Review tab includes comments, useful for leaving reminders to yourself or your colleagues in the form of sticky notes, plus the ability to save different versions of your score, so you can quickly track your progress or go back in time to an earlier version. You can even compare one version or score with another to see what has changed. The View tab contains options that, in general, do not affect the final printed appearance of your score, but are useful while you're working. For example, to switch between various arrangements of pages or panorama, which lays your music out on a single, infinitely wide page, use the buttons in the Document View group, which are also available in the status bar at the bottom of the screen. When you're ready to share or perform your score, click the File tab. From here, you can click Export to convert your score to, among others, Audio for burning to audio CD or converting to MP3, Graphics for importing into a desktop publishing or graphics program, Music XML for importing into other music programs, a Scorch web page for publishing on the internet, or as a PDF, suitable for sending to somebody who doesn't have Sibelius so that they can view and print your score. Alternatively, click Print to send your score to your printer. Sibelius includes simple options for making booklets or printing multiple pages on the same sheet of paper. This tour hasn't even scratched the surface of what Sibelius can do. You are recommended to work through the provided tutorials from the Learn tab of Quick Start or the Help pane in the File tab before you embark on your first serious project. To view comprehensive documentation for every Sibelius feature, click the small question mark at the right-hand side of the ribbon.